Okay, so uh, let's look at uh, mathematics of cryptography. What is the underlying uh, underlying mathematics behind cryptography? Uh, the first thing that we want to do is actually we want to do something called GCD. GCD. This is a very common uh, mathematical tool that we uh, we use in uh, in cryptography, which is to find greatest common divisor. Greatest common divisor divisor sorry greatest common divisor this is uh, this is the most common thing that we use in cryptography and uh, based on gcd we can find um, if two numbers are co prime or not so in this we're going to use something called a euclidean algorithm or specifically extended euclidean algorithm algorithm very important algorithm we use to find gcd co prime and multiplicative inverses of numbers uh, which is used in aes uh, uh, which we use in something called rsa and things like that so let's look at the algorithm first and then work out an example uh, using numbers and then we're going to move on into an example or related to Galois field 2 to the 8 which is used in AES uh, encryption techniques okay so what is the definition of greatest common divisor the greatest common divisor of any two positive integers is the largest integer that can divide both of these integers so the definition of greatest common divisor is of two positive integers is that that what is the largest number that can divide both of those numbers um, we have learned gcd in grade 5 uh, but we're going to look at an, a, a version uh, using euclidean algorithm and this algorithm has two steps it based on two fact fact number one is this uh, gcd of a number a of two integer where one is an integer the other is zero is going to be a all right and fact number two fact number two is this gcd of two numbers a comma b is equals to gcd of b comma r okay where r is the remainder of dividing a by b until and unless you reach this position okay so let's let's recap this so it's based on two things if you are given two integers where one integer is zero and the other integer is some positive integer so the gcd of those two numbers are going to be that number all right let's say if you're given two different numbers which is gcd of a and b so what you're going to do gcd of a and b is going to be gcd of b and r is going to be when you divide a by b you'll get the remainder and you continuously divide until and unless you get this condition back all right so this is this is the way to do it so let's 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 look at it let's do an example let's do an example of this a simple example so let's call this number a uh, let's say uh, we want to find out gcd of uh, two numbers let's say 25 and 65 all right so let's find out two numbers so let's call that a and let's call that b so so we have a quotient so this is this is the euclidean algorithm this is actually euclidean algorithm euclidean algo okay so we have number a so let's write down this number a and then we have b and then we have a remainder value of these numbers all right so a of course definitely is going to be a bigger number so that is going to be 65 and 25 so let's divide 25 by 65 first so let's do division 25 here 65 inside 
So 25 times 2 would give me 50. What is the remainder that I get? I get 15 as a remainder. So this is going to be my Q, which is my quotient. This is going to be my remainder. So my quotient is going to be 2 and my remainder is going to be 15. Now, let's come back to this fact. So we're working with fact number 2. So now we're going to bring GCD of A and B is GCD of BR. So we're going to bring this B down here like this. And we're going to bring this R down here like this. So now this becomes GCD and GCD of B and R. We continuously doing this until and unless we reach this condition. Once I reach this condition, I'll stop my algorithm. Okay, so let's do this. So let's, let's do the division here again. We have 15 and we have 25. So 15 times 2, I know which is going to be 30. So it's going to be 15 times 1, which is going to be 15. So I get my remainder to be 10. So this is R. This is my Q. All right. So, so this, the remainder is going to be 1. Oh, sorry, quotient is going to be 1. And my remainder is going to be 10. We're still back to this condition. So we're going to bring this 15 out here like this. And we're going to bring this 10 out here like this. We're going to do the division again. Okay, so 10 times 15, so 10 ones are 10, we get what, 5 as a remainder, so this is my remainder, this is my quotient, alright, so 10, my quotient is 1, and this is going to be my remainder, which is going to be 5, I'm going to bring this 10 down here, and then I'm going to bring this 5 down here, so, so 5 times 2 would give me 10, and I'll get a remainder to be 0. All right, so I'll bring this 5 here, I'll bring this 0 down here. So I went to this condition now. And then once I keep doing this, I'll go back to this condition. Now I have a condition where I need to find GCD of A comma 0. So A comma 0, where whenever I have a situation like this, where I have one number 0 and then other is some positive integer, I'll get GCD is this. This is my GCD. So GCD of 25 comma 65 is going to be 5. What this is saying is this. This is the largest number which can divide both of these integers value. So this is how you calculate uh, GCD using Euclidean algorithm. Uh, we will look at an extended Euclidean algorithm version uh, which, will, uh, which allows me to actually um, now, uh, let me find out what all the multiplicative inverses which we commonly use in uh, AES. So, I hope you like the video.